Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and I've got a super interesting case for you this morning. Uh, this is a story of a woman who has CCI-like symptoms, headaches, dizziness, etc., and she develops or starts to develop this lump in the back of her throat, as shown here. Now, her doctors are stumped. She goes and sees an ENT doctor. They don't know what's going on. And then finally, I think her doctors conclude it's coming from her cervical spine. Um, and she wrote us asking for a telemedicine visit and then was convinced that it had to do with a panis. It definitely wasn't due to a panis, but it's super interesting what it turned out to be. So if we just look at her uh, CT scan here, we see that she has a calcified panis back here, meaning that the back of the dens where there would normally be a panis is calcified. Now there's just one problem. This is where her throat is, and this is where a panis would live. So a panis goes the opposite direction of where she thinks the problem is and, and where the problem is in the back of her throat. Um, it actually took me looking at this a few times to figure this out because it's so rare. Uh, she's had a lower cervical fusion, so that means that all of these guys up here are getting overloaded. And I think we see, can find here, if we look, what's causing her significant lump in the back of the throat. It's severe C1-C2 facet arthritis pushing out in this direction uh, and causing the lumps. If we go to the other side, we can see that this is what the normal C1-2 facet joint is supposed to look like. But if we go to the side where she has this lump, you can see the joint is collapsed it's got additional calcification in front of it, and that calcification is pushing out up front. So we're gonna do an evaluation for craniocervical instability. It's certainly craniocervical syndrome due to a problem at the C1, C2 facet joint. It's very treatable. Um, the question is, can we help it long-term because she has sort of permanent forces coming up from the lower cervical fusion, causing adjacent segment disease, and then ultimately probably making this C1, C2 facet arthritis worse. But I thought it was super interesting, so I wanted to share it. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.